Here in the Chicago area, a solidarity gathering packed the parking lot of a Glencoe synagogue. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is here with more on the message from many local leaders who were standing with Israel. Right, Joe and Jim, we spoke to the family of a 23-year-old man who was taken hostage while attending the open-air Nova Music Festival on Saturday. They were joined by a massive group of community members and many local leaders who pledged to get him back and support Israel in the war. We stand with Israel, and um, our next thing is to uh, for everyone to reach out to um, their politicians, their congressmen, the White House, the State Department, everywhere in governments outside of the U.S. Uh, to do everything they can right now to get my nephew Hirsch Goldberg Poland and the other hostages out of there. The family of Hirsch Goldberg Poland live in Evanston and Skokie area and attended the solidarity gathering to thank their community for their messages of support. His parents said they moved with Hirsch to Israel in 2008. They were told that his arm was severed at the elbow when he was taken hostage, but they believe he's still alive. Governor J.B. Pritzker said state police and law enforcement across Illinois are on alert to protect synagogues and gathering places for Jews. He reiterated today that there is no immediate threat that the FBI or law enforcement have detected. Congressman Brad Schneider, one of 25 Jewish members of Congress, also announced to the crowd that a bipartisan resolution to provide support to Israel was introduced in the House with more than 300 co-sponsors. What is your office doing to help people? We're doing everything we can. We set up a, a, a contact on our website on Saturday. We will continue to connect them with the State Department and at the White House. I'll continue to advocate to the White House to do everything we can to make sure we bring everyone home to safety. Let me be clear. There are many peace-loving Palestinians and we must honor them, but Hamas? Hamas is a terrorist organization, an army of murderers backed by Iran. And coming up at 6, we'll hear more from the Chicago area family of that man his, who is believed to have been taken hostage and how they are asking supporters for help. Jim and Joe. All right, Megan, we'll see you at 6 with more. Thank you.